So because I have no control over how much time I spend on this game, and I'm actually kind of addicted to it, finishing it at the very least. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tangle Tower. Uh, I've been meaning to do this again. Is that a clock? If it is, it's a clock with four feet. So, I'm still not really certain what to do with this. I still personally believe this is... I still don't know what to do with it. So I just I don't know what because I thought I understood it, but and then I and then I ended up you know not understanding it. <sighs> no. Nope. So moving any of the hands turns like cogs on a machine. Yeah, I know that hint. Darn it, game. Not helping me. I guess that's wrong. Did you work out what direction each hand needs to be facing? Each one ends with a little hoop. Try looking through the hoop and ignoring the rest. I just, I don't understand that hint. Try looking through the hoop and ignoring the rest. I don't know what that means. Ignoring the hoop. Oh, I might need to jump cut because I don't understand this one. Hmm. I got it. What the? What's it? I don't even. I, do, I literally just. Um. I don't understand! I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, don't, I literally just did, like... Oh, that was literal trial and error and that was so annoying. Whatever. I don't even care. Uh, I, I, I must have... I must be, like, missing something. Or I don't see... Or there's something that's there that I don't see it. But that was that was a dumb puzzle. That's oh, I would argue that one was worse than the stupid magnifying glass one. Magnifying glass one, I could at least understand a little bit. But that one, no, that was I don't even know what I was supposed to be doing. I'm impressed. I knew what I was supposed to be doing, but I didn't understand like what the goal was. What's in the box? A little tool thing. Looks like a telescope, but I'm not actually sure what it is. Small lens, a small brass lens with a, or a small brass tool with a curved glass lens. It has a screw at the base. This belongs to you, Hawkshaw? Correct. And, uh, what is it? It's my handheld microscope for up-close investigation work. What do you magnify with it? Trace particles, dust, oils, clothing fibers. Have you used it here at Tangle Tower? I have. I used it to examine the greenhouse only two days ago. What were you looking for? That is between myself and my client. Oh, please. I don't know why at this point we don't know who your client is or why we haven't, in haven't discussed it with you. Oh, is he not here? He is not. I thought he would be. Oh shit, I just noticed. <laughs> He's hiding in the background. I did not notice that. You're creepy. Sorry. Don't move. We're being watched. 
watched. Yeah, I see him. He's a little too big to hide in the bushes. Is anyone going to say anything? <laughs> or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Fitz Fellow. The gardener. Mm-hmm. And why are you so tall? <laughs> That's an odd question to ask. No. <laughs> what kind of question is that, Sally? Why are you tall? I, I, I was born this way. I grew up this way. <laughs> you work here as the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. <laughs> the color is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls. The water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Could you say that again, but like, condense it, as if you were talking to a slightly stupid person? <laughs> Our lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of DNA, sometimes. Alteration? Like mutation? That'd be the official term. For us, it's normal. Just nature. And you're the local expert on all this stuff? No. I'm just the gardener. <laughs> I was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. Did you speak to each other? A little, not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me guess. Watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? <laughs> he legitimately has to think about it. I was up in the rooftop okay, garden. Okay, let's get your statement. It was quiet. And then, it wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went Who's up we? there. Who's we? We. Poppy was with me. Did I not mention that? Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. You kicked the door down? I did. Nice. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. Hmm. Interesting. I like Flora. I hope she's all right. Do you think she had anything to do with the murder? There's no way. She wouldn't willingly cause any additional suffering for anyone. Felix is a contradiction. His loyalties are placed firmly within the realm of materialism, money, property. But his ego relies on an entirely fraudulent self-image, don't you think? A little bit. Ah, uh, I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> Fifi doesn't like me. What did you do? I'm not sure. If you find out, maybe you can let me know. Mm. She questioned me. About what? My work, the plants, a bit of everything. Did she search the greenhouse? No, she didn't. You sure? 
Maybe she did it when you weren't in there. No, she hasn't touched it. How can you tell? Trust me, I can tell. That's scarily similar to... I want to say what Poppy said. It was either Poppy or Penny. It's one of the two said that. She was always kind to me. She'd come into the greenhouse when I was working. Sometimes by herself, sometimes with Poppy. I think they were just bored at first. Eventually, they started asking questions. About what? Poppy wanted to learn about flowers. Freya, she used to ask me about the insects. Insects? One of my jobs is to protect plants from things that might eat them. Freya brought me this little glass box, leaves and twigs inside. She'd say, put all the troublemakers in there. Every day I'd put a handful of beetles and other things in the box. Then she'd come along and take it away. I didn't really understand her, but she was always kind. Noticing that is still noticing that's a common thing with everybody. Have you met this guy, Fitz? Shifty eyes, doesn't say a lot. Totally suspicious, if you ask me. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's it, it was a joke. I was joking. Oh, I see. Okay, I love Sally. I, I, I really hope there's more if there's like a sequel to this game because I I recently found out early um earlier uh that this is part of a a lineup of games which oh my goodness but sally's apparently not in any of them this is the only one she's in and she's fucking hilarious i honestly think she's like my favorite character personally I speaking i imagine you don't visit the astronomy tower too often do you no but i still see pointer sometimes he's always curious about what i'm growing in the greenhouse asks me about the birds too and insects he's pretty clued up on his evolutionary biology I didn't think there was much overlap between astronomy and biology. I guess that's a hint that he's not actually Penelope a is my fiance. Don't take this the wrong way, but Penny doesn't really strike me as your type. She's not who she pretends to be. People think she's... well, they make assumptions. And how's the relationship doing recently? Good. It's good. Poppy and I are friends. Oh, I can buy that. Dark clothes, blue hair, an average of three words per sentence. Two. Oh, you're like two peas in a pod. She's very kind, and she has an interest in plants. Unusual flowers, mostly. I've been teaching her. Right. Is something wrong? Nice painting. Gives you a pretty good idea of the layout. The lake looks like it forms a perfect circle around the island. It might seem strange to you, but nature is quite capable of producing perfectly geometric forms. And those mountain cliff things around the outside? We don't know much about them. They're unscalable. Not even Freya could have gone up there. What's that? This painting. It's speculative. There are no photographs from this angle as far as I know. So Freya just made it up? Let's call it an informed estimation. Who gave you that information? Uh, well... We don't actually know who it was. We were contacted anonymously. I see. And what happens if the person who contacted you turns out to be the murderer? I never thought about that. Honestly, that would be kind of fun. Like a twist, you know? <laughs> it would be kind of interesting. We don't actually know who contacted us. It looks us. like it might belong to Poppy. It's of no interest to me. But I overheard Poppy and Freya talking about it once. What were they saying? They were arguing about something, but I can't remember the details. How odd. What do you think that is in Flora's hand? I don't know. It does look like a knife, but Flora wasn't holding anything at all when I saw her after the murder. But there's something bothering me, something else. What? When we went into Flora's room, she wasn't standing in this position. Well, she probably would have moved around a little bit by then. She wasn't standing at all. She was kneeling on the floor. There's something off about this. What is it? Why don't you take another look at Flora's room? You think we missed a clue up there? Not exactly. Wait, what? That belongs to Poppy. 
So, why is it up in Flora's tower? I'm not sure. Do I need to go back to Flora's room? That bothered me, that comment. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. It's an egg with feet. It was locked, but we opened it. But it was empty. Fun story. <laughs> Paints are different to flowers. I'd say so, yeah. At any time, flowers can bloom with perfect, faultless colors. Red, blue, white. With paint, once you've tainted a color by mixing it with others, not even the most skilled painter can return it to its pure form. That's quite sweet, really. Felix made that. Huh. Freya's best work, in my opinion. Although, the photo doesn't carry the same energy as the real thing. What do you think it's a painting of? What do you mean? Like, what's the subject matter? What's that big red thing? Oh, I don't think it's that kind of painting. Fitz, one of these drawings is of you in the rooftop garden, I think, with Poppy. Mm-hmm. Are we done? <laughs> it's Fifi and Freya. Don't you think Poppy should be in the photo, too? Maybe, maybe not. She doesn't really like crowds. Two people isn't, isn't a, crowd. a crowd, but three is. Right, but if she was in the photo, then it'd be three. Check, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Penelope knows about birds. You should ask her instead. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something. There's a plant mentioned on this page, see? Do you have any? In the greenhouse? No, I don't grow that anymore. I've tried in the past. It's incredibly difficult, even for me. I could never get it to live more than a couple of weeks. Looks like someone doesn't want you to read that book. That's the main thing making me want to read it. What's with the broken glass? Poppy's piano music. I remember when she started learning. She's improved a lot since then. Yeah, that's generally how it works. Right. Of course. Uh... Any idea who this is? Ah, uh, no. No idea. Like how everybody knows this is... Uh, Poppy when she was young, when she had, was going not in her current phase, and like they all know it, and they just don't want to admit it to her, just admit it to us. They're like, oh well, she doesn't want to tell you. We're not telling you. So I, I don't know. I find that kind of endearing. I've seen beetles with brightly colored shells, metallic shells even. They're relatively common, especially around here. There's a difference between that and actual gold. It can't be actual gold. Gold is just inside the earth or whatever. You can't make it. It's called alchemy. It was a whole thing. Penelope's three favorite birds. She's very protective over them. Are they, like, her pets? Do they have names? Oh, they have names. Penelope loves to name things. Do you remember what she named them? I do not. A this, flower. I was interested in asking yeah, about that's a flower. We found it in Penny's room. Okay. Mean anything to you? Why would it? Come on. I don't really go into Penny's room or anywhere in Pointer Tower. I just don't have a reason to. Huh. I would have expected that. Those petals, they, uh... What? They're red. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Me neither. Me three. Oh. Sorry. I thought you said me too. Did Freya draw these? Yeah. There's a note in the back, too. She was even closer to Flora than I realized. You ever seen this before, Fitz? No, but I don't normally go into Fifi's room. That's not where we found it. Oh, I just thought it looks like it belongs to her. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the Fellow Tower. This could be interesting. I actually do want to go there now. Oh. Uh, okay. That's all the statements. Let's go over them all. Later. Let's go over what we know about the crime scene. Let's say we're not at, like... Hold up, we're not doing, like, the final investigation, are we? 
Also, I want to investigate this. An thing. empty glass and an empty plate. Looking at it is making me want to cry. Why? I don't know. That poor plant. Looks pretty healthy to me. Healthy, but sad. I think it would rather be outside. It's a little handmade card. Someone's drawn a heart on the front. Inside it says, to Fitz, from PP. That? Wow, that's actually kind of hard to determine who that would be from. Hello. Not I know it'd be very to, well, is it? I know it'd be obvious to say, oh, well, it's Pally Pointer, but uh, it could be else. Eh. Doesn't need to be. It's locked. What? It's a combination lock. Sort of. Problem with this is Trying to find the last one. It's wrapped in a cloth. Hold on. Huh. That's kind of ominous. Ooh. Ornate trowel. A metal gardening tool with decorative pa met a metal gardening trowel with a decorative pattern. There's a decorative pattern engraved onto it and letters and letters either side of a heart. PP and FF. Huh. Neither of these lights have an actual light bulb. They're just decorative. Oh, so decorative. <laughs> uh there's someone outside the window. Something outside the window. It's probably just a rock. You sure? It's locked, but it leads outside. I thought we were halfway up a tower. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Oh, this I can. I don't understand, man. Nothing. Still. The tiles have all got that same sun symbol on them. Those moon symbols in the slots, are they connected? Maybe they're connected, but all. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I gotta look up all that stuff again. Hold up. Let's come back once we. Hold up. I know the rock. I know I can memorize that. That's not hard. Uh. 
a big glass door. Wait, there's a little mech. I think I just did it on accident. Something happened. That must be it. I did it on accident too. I didn't even. Remember. I guess maybe part of me remembered what the suns looked like. And the door's still locked. I still feel like we made some sort of progress. Alright, I remember where those are. It's locked. I we are. Something by the... It made a noise. I guess that was right. Should be able to go through now. Finally, it's open. Whatever's on the other side better be worth it. Would be the garden. Okay. Why does this have headphones? It's another little statue. Doing a really bad job of hiding in the bushes. He's playing a loop this time. He's also wearing headphones. Well, they're not part of the statue. And they're not headphones. They're earmuffs. Loot statue. A slightly weathered statue of a strange creature holding a loot. A pair of earmuffs have been placed on the head of the statue. That's one big dragonfly. Or one very small dragon. It's a rose bush, growing on a little patch of bluish soil. Now, apart from a couple of loose petals on one side, the whole thing looks very well cared for. The roses are bright red, too. Now, aren't roses normally that color? Exactly. What? Giant stone frog? Love it. Nah, he's got his tongue out like he's catching snowflakes. Except those aren't snowflakes. They're feathers. Four feathers. Feathers are mostly found or feathers mostly found resting on the tongue of a very large stone frog. None of the feathers are from the ink dip bird. There's something about those petals we found in Penny's room. Something. Sus Let's ask her about it. Oh, how they're they're similar to her birds, but like she doesn't let her birds go anywhere. It looks really, really deep for some reason. See those metal bars around the edges too? Oh yeah. What are you supposed to for? Nothing anymore. Looks like somebody broke them and then never bothered to fix it. Be careful, we're pretty high up. Yeah, we're on a roof. <laughs> Trees. On a roof. In a garden. Mm hmm In a garden. On a roof. The door into Poppy's room. So, only Poppy and Fitz can get into the garden? Ah, huh. I guess so. It's a two-person bench. Now, what makes it a two-person bench specifically? It looks pretty standard to me. Oh, good. A bridge. I'm glad to know there's a way to get across that tiny, tiny pond. Not all bridges are about getting across stuff. More egg statues. I don't get it. Why eggs? Well, either they have some special significance, or the sculptor was just really lazy. What do you mean? An egg has got to be the easiest shape to make. Got a point. It's so relaxing. I might just stay here. Oh, shall I go finish the investigation on my own? Sure. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Sally's definitely my like favorite outright. Love the hell out of her. Uh, so, yeah, we found this. Oh, <laughs> that, oh. that's nothing. You wrote, now I'll get her, on a piece of paper and hid it in your room. That's not nothing. Actually, it's not the message I wanted to ask about. It's those red flower petals. The petals. They're from red roses. And there's only one place in Tango Tower with red roses. We need a clue. Something that shows the roses. And who they belong to. Uh, where... there it is. It's a drawing of Fitz and Poppy in the rooftop garden. See what Fitz is holding? <laughs> I can't imagine what you're getting at. But it doesn't matter. I couldn't have taken anything from the rooftop garden. It's only accessible from Fitz's room or Poppy's room. How could I have taken something from a garden to which I have no access? 
Is it really only accessible from those two bedrooms? For most people, it would be. But don't forget, yeah. he's the resident ornithologist. My dears, what are you accusing me of? Well, that's kind of obvious. That seems one of Penny's birth. Nope. Yeah, that seems one of there we go. was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz and steal evidence from them. We know those two have been spending time together in the rooftop garden. I'm guessing you got paranoid. Wanted to know what they were up to. I'm just not the jealous type. I would never suspect fits of anything like that. Besides, Tabitha hardly ever leaves her cage. She's certainly never flown up to the rooftop garden. We need a clue to compare with Penny's birds. Something to prove one of them has been in the rooftop garden. Well, that's an easy one. Let's take a closer look at these. This yellow feather was left behind by Penny's yellow bird when it visited the rooftop garden. hidden away up there in their private little garden. I couldn't risk spying on them myself, so I asked dear Tabitha to do it for me. I knew she'd be able to bring me back some evidence. Sorry, Penny, but are you not overreacting a little? You don't understand. Fitz is slipping away from me. He's so quiet with me these days, but being with Poppy seems to bring him out of his shell. I don't know what he sees in her miserable little... I apologize. This really isn't your burden to bear. That's it? Isn't he strapping? He is... big. <laughs> And so brooding. Kind of sulky, yeah. I can never tell what's going on in that beautiful head of his. That just sounds like you don't know him very well. I don't remember asking for your <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, did Fitz show you that? Not exactly. We found it hidden under his bed. Ah. Hmm. Lovely. <laughs> oh, there used to be all kinds of birds here at Tangle Tower. The most fascinating breeds, all totally unique. Used to be? Uh, there are birds all over the place. Most of them are rather ordinary, I'm afraid. What happened to the non-ordinary ones? That is a very good question. Alright, I'm going to cut it here, everybody. Next time, I'm going to go around asking everybody questions about the new items and fits, and go from there. I'll see you all next time. Till then.